James Stewart. But he became the youngest rider ever to win an American Supercross in 16 years, 15 days. Championship seasons in Supercross history. James Stewart is the man on the top step of the podium with the number one plate. My earliest memory as a child is me on a motorcycle. We were poor, and my parents sacrificed everything to steer me into motocross. We found Florida property in the middle of the ghetto, getting bigger at every race I won, and I won a lot. Today, I'm the number one motocross race in the world, the fastest man on the planet, and the first African-American champion in my sport. My personal sacrifice is giving up a normal life. But this summer, for the first time in my life, I'm about to take a break and see what the rest of the world is like. I'm James Stewart, but some call me Bubba. James has been a racer ever since he was three and a half years old. All he wanted to do was ride a motorcycle, ride a motorcycle, and that's his life. That's what he's been doing all his life. James Stewart's one of the best motocross racers ever to live. Some people say he's one of the greatest riders in the world. He's the world's fastest racer. That's what he's been known as, and that's what he's proven. He is the number one athlete in our sport right now. What's up, buddy? You're like his idol. He's the best man on the planet. Every time he's on a bike, he does something that amazes me. I knew James was going to be successful around he was like 13 years old. He was just super fast, racing against the fastest guys, definitely beating them, you know, and it's just started from there. James was born on a motorcycle, pretty much. First day he came home from the hospital, the first thing his dad did before he brought him in the house was put him on a motorcycle. They bought a piece of property, lived in their motor home on the piece of property, basically sacrificed a house to have property that they could practice on. I would give my last dime to James on that motorcycle. It didn't matter if I had to skip the house payment to go racing, that's what we did. Like a lot of people struggling today, we struggle the same way. Driving here, you got to go through some hoods that are pretty scary. You got the ghetto like right across those orange groves. I still get scared going there. What's going on? Good, good. What's that? I know, I know. I appreciate that. Trying to. What happens in the local store is a lot of people show up. <laughs> I mean, everybody's a fan in there. Like, almost like he runs that store always. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Great. How are you doing, Jeff? Uh, hey, how you doing, man? Good, good. James, why are you here? Because you need a small favor to sign that picture for me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we appreciate that, man. We know how it is. The town loves him. If he goes anywhere, everybody knows that that's James Stewart. I told my wife, I said, I'll be glad when the stewards do come back. We try to shop at our local stores and, you know, and put the revenue back into it, because they struggle like we struggle. Right. Oh, man, let me shake a rich man's hand. That's the love, man. That's right. He's still over $50, but that's the love, man. <laughs> right. There's not a lot of Ferraris and Lamborghinis rolling around this town, so. You know when somebody comes out of you know Kokomo Road that they obviously came from James Stewart's camp or they're with James Stewart or it is James Stewart. Wow. The 
daily life around here is a zoo. In the motorcycle racing, there is a lot involved in it. Yeah, you hear pressure washers going on. UPS coming in, FedEx coming in. I really don't know how many people. I would say there's probably uh, 20 to 30 people that are employed because of James Stewart. He's got practice bike mechanics, trainers. In a sense, his mom and dad are employed by James Stewart. Well, I'm the flunky. I'm Big James. I'm just a flunky right here. I, I'm a do boy. I try to do a little bit of everything. Hey, why didn't you just blow that out? Huh? Why didn't you just blow that out? Just shoot it out to shoot. It's not like it's in the yard. Yeah, all right. We have crews that come in and wash the cars. You know, we really don't have time to do it, but it has to be done, so it's like, Everybody knows their job, and it's kind of like clockwork. If you got criminal activity, boy, you better run now. <laughs> Make sure we get this in here real good, because we had this in at the National. This thing here pretty nasty. Sometimes they get a little lazy, so you have to crack the whip on them. You know how to do it, man. Make it look good. All right, good. All right. Big James is in charge of the tracks. He maintains the track and upkeeps the track. They have two supercross tracks, a small mini moto style track, and then uh, an outdoor track. The track needs to be completely rebuilt. He's out there and he gets the crew there to fix it and rebuild it. We're usually here at least twice a month doing something for James because uh, they do so many laps in on these things. They just beat them up and we're just pretty much on call all the time. The guys that work for me, they know that I'm real strict about, you know, what I want, you know, how I want it. It's because, you know, this is the family place and we work hard to get to where we are. And, you know, slackers is not accepted. My mule is off limit to everyone. We tore this thing up. Who won't tell out of the mule? My name's Anthony Paggio. I'm a longtime close friend to James and kind of an advisor with James. Paggio, I really haven't figured out exactly what he does. I just know Padge, he works for Oakley. He also helps James with all the scheduling stuff. James changed up a lot of things in his program this year, so uh, he kind of did everything on his own. He doesn't really have an, an agent. So he's just been doing his own stuff. So me and him have uh, kind of worked a lot of things out and try to help him out as much as I can. Everybody pretty much called the dad, you know, for this and that. And I don't have time, so Anthony was helping us do all the call by It's actually been great. Malcolm is the totally opposite of James. He's gonna be the kid that probably you're gonna have to kick out the house. It's not your normal brother relationship because they don't wake up every day and see each other because of the travel schedules. You know, Malcolm's at amateur races, James is at pro races. I say my family describe me as crazy, wide open, because I always do like weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there is night and day difference between the boys. They, they are seven years apart, but James was more of tight grip with his motorcycles. He, that's all he lived and loved to do. When Malcolm comes along seven years later, you know, things have changed. There's a lot of video games and a lot of other things that, you know, he likes to do. Well, James didn't have a choice because we couldn't afford that. He had motorcycle or nothing. You know, well, Malcolm, you know, he's kind of got a little bit of everything. And I think that really hindered Malcolm from really peeking to that next level at James' age. Oh, going down. Going down. When it's race time, like, I actually go out there and race, but until then, like, I just play around. Mal. Yeah. Hey, it's time for you to be getting up. What are you doing up there? Nothing. Hey. It's time for you to get up in here. Oh, what did I tell you about the video game? Um, you wake up in the morning, you're in the video game. You go to bed, and you're in the video game. Go ahead and turn the video game off and get this room all cleaned up. Why? Why? Because you need to get this room cleaned up. All right, all right. Today, Junior, do I need to turn the video game off for you? Okay. Say bye bye now. I definitely feel like I am spread it totally thin. There, I'm gonna help you make this bed up. 
What are you doing in here? Excuse me, Roxy. Out. Oh, my mom runs the show, <laughs> without a doubt. I mean, she makes all the calls. She does everything. She has to clean up, and then she's doing schoolwork. She's been doing this schoolwork for the last, I don't know, it seemed like four years now. Hey, I'm gonna go uh, get a degree in this. You know, I just kind of blow it off, but next thing I know, she's got all these books, and she's into this deal, and it's like, man, you know, I'm over school, you know? <laughs> when he sees me doing my homework, he literally, will aggravate me for the heck of it. I have to have the title. I gotta take the title back down there. Oh my God. Oh my God, you are silly. Where's the paperwork? I know what the paperwork said. Anybody can get her mad. If anything, go with her mess with her schoolwork. She's on a hot temper, like she's on thin ice. You take oh it down God, there. Dude. I do this all the time. No, you don't, don't do it all the time, dude. Why is it so hard? It's you don't do it all the time. Got to I tell you what, Mr. Juan Don, now don't you take this back down and you tell oh, them I would, that. I would have come back with a plate already. No, you wouldn't. Right you wouldn't. If you want to, you still go down there. Not now. Why? I'm, I'm finna go do something you else. You ain't doing nothing. Big James ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> But I'll pretend. You just been right here watching me run in your mouth. Get out of here. Bye bye now. Busy. Bye. Jesus. I'm just do whatever needs to be done. I go out there from helping the boys with the cows. I can help on the track. I'm mom, 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 mom. Sonia is always, always busy. There's always something. Hurry up. I'm not going to be in this kitchen all morning. Longhorn is James's pride in this candidate. This is his first year with James. He is definitely part of the family. Malcolm and Longhorn are like two peas in a pod. Longhorn's my buddy, man. He actually helped me out a lot. If I'm like down, he brings me back up. This is gonna suck. Gonna Big be snakes in here too. He's the guy like if I wanted to go do something. Oh my gosh. He's right there with me. <laughs> all right, we're on Segway take two, all right? Let's go. <laughs> My mule is off limit to everyone, including James. We'll get the get the mule and hit the hit it on the mule. Alright. Going out there jumping the mule, like you won't see that. Ooh, let's not even talk about that. <laughs> Think I would snap. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a green versus red on the mule and we'll try to hit that. I gotta get focused. We're gonna do a roll in and then we're gonna come and jump this like little the landing of the double. And you got three runs. Best trick. That is off limit. You cannot use it for nothing. Yeah! They want to race them and you throw my twos and stuff out. Want to do a hot lap or what we Hot lap around the track. You sure? Because, dude, I hit the roof every time I jump. <laughs> yeah, like, full on, like, boom! Nice. All right, I'm going wide open, though. I wouldn't want him to tap the mules because we need those mules on the property, you know, to keep things going. Big James takes pride in everything. He's worked, so he understands the value of a dollar. Yeah, let's go over the damage. Every little thing here means something to him. Yeah, we tore this thing up. Just how my brother was, you know, he likes spending money. Last time I heard this year, he made 10 mil. You know, he's a big money waster. I'm gonna go to my room. You're destroying something or you're breaking the mules just to do it deliberately, he gets pissed. Is Pops here? Yeah, he's coming. Hey, what? Who got tail light on my mule? James Stewart's a big man. James Stewart Jr. is a little man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Matt. What happened? Hey. What? 
You mess with him, like, something's going down. Like, you, you don't mess with him. What? Who broke the tail light? Dude, ask him. Well, technically, <laughs> Longhorn broke the tail light. You, <laughs> you know, nah, he was out there. He was playing around, and he How many times I tell y'all not to drive my mule? Well, we could take it out of Longhorn check. Well, that's how it worked right here. Great stuff. Oh, really? Well, he did it. I had nothing to do with that one. He's Big James, the name says it all. Yeah, what he says goes, you don't park in his parking spot and you, you don't take his mule. Pops was in there taking a dump the other day. Oh, he like, <laughs> and he just kept staring at me like, what's up? I think I ain't riding no more. What do you mean you ain't gonna race? That's all we know is racing. Did we raise him to be a quitter? We racers, man, we race. You gonna take off and sit on the couch. I just ain't gonna race. I'm ready to get bite to smelling some of them race fume in the stadiums. I'm ready. He's going to really focus on this year racing, and we'll see where it goes. Very looking forward. I got to tell Pops. I got to tell him I ain't racing. You're going to yell at me and you're going to yell at the whole family. Yeah, you going to come with me? I don't know, man. He's probably going to yell at me something. Yeah. Oh, when you do it, I'm not going to be around. I'm riding this day. I got this schedule, got that schedule, just like we used to do it. And, I, and I've always been taken care of. Every time you put your spoon in the dish, you waste <laughs> something now. Let me take care of it. Try to be ready this week, looking for a rider. I think I ain't riding no more. Huh? I don't think I'm a rod. Why? I don't feel like riding anymore. What are you talking about? I just ain't going to race. What <laughs> do you mean you ain't going to race? That's all we know is racing. I know, but I'm, like, I'm over it, dude. I'm tired. Why are you tired? Because, like, all the riding I've been doing this stuff is... What have you been doing right now? Supercross series? Supercross series? It's over. We're looking for another super. O-10. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm going to race again, O-10. We racers, man. We race. That's how we get better, by racing. Yeah, but I'm tired. Now, aren't you tired after the season? Oh, yeah. I am tired. Did we raise him to be a quitter? I just think we need to take a little bit off. I mean, it's just one season. Shouldn't we have talked about this before you just come up with this conclusion? I'm preaching in his ears, hey, you need to work out, hey, you need to ride, you know. Big James definitely was a concern for him. He felt like if he took the time off, it may hurt him because when he does get ready to go back, um, it's a possibility that he may get hurt because he's kind of rusty. Don't you want to defend your title? I don't want to get burnt out. That's a hard thing to swallow right now. I, mean, I was looking forward to going back out there and uh, defending the title. Yeah, I know. So I was hoping that James did race, especially defending the championship, you know, and being able to go bike and really put a, put a whipping on those guys. I wanted him to, you know, and I still do. You know, take off and sit on the couch. Not really. I got some adventures already planned. Always worried about James getting hurt. Right now, they're seeing who can get hurt quickest. If he's hurt, nobody gets paid. That's how it works around here. He's the money man, so he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> How many motocross champions does it take to pull out an alligator? He's making me so mad. Get him. He does not have to participate next game. It's not too late to pull out. James Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. James is about to do something crazy. I think we just need to get through it. First ever X Games, and they roll out the red carpet. Anything could happen.
The kid just won't listen. This is maybe the attention that he needs to get to maybe understand what I've been trying to tell him, you know, yada and relevant. If James threw a party at the house and there was girls <laughs> running around, probably being kicked him out. <laughs> We always push James to, to understand a dollar value. My brother's always been a big money spinner, so we try to invite him, but you know, half the time it never works out. Kind of ticked off about it. No sense going real fast here and screwing up there. That smooth you out. A lot of rough edges on you, following you down. <laughs> Do you like your chicken white meat or dark meat? <laughs> oh I just know how girls do it when they get drinking. You get all buck wild and then have one big orgy going around in the house. And that is not good. James likes the type of girls that he can control. If he say sit, jump, walk, get me this, those are the type of girls he likes. Oh, don't do that. That's stupid. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> What do you mean? You suck. You were clipping on pretty good pace when y'all passed us up there. Have you buddy turn the camera off for me, okay?